So this was an offer of the Opage 60 for everything. It's an N64, two controllers, Star Fox, Mario 64, GoldenEye, and Mario Kart. And all together, 60 bucks, not bad. At the flea, I ended up spending, I believe, 55 altogether. It was 45 for these games. The best two games, obviously, are Monster Rancher 3. One of them has no manual, and I believe they go for about 30 bucks. Then another vendor had these for five apiece. The printer paper, I'm not sure why I bought it. I'm not sure if it's sealed, and it really doesn't matter. I just wanted the box. And this Otello was also five bucks. I didn't have it, so at least I get to add that to the collection. later so this was a facebook deal i paid only 25 bucks so for for that why not it's really nothing great um i didn't have front missions 4 which is right here so i'll add that to the collection and that hack should be getting me most of my money back so for 25 bucks not bad This was a Facebook deal a long time in the making. Basically, he was asking for a whole bunch of games for 700 bucks. I ended up getting these for 240, which is high, but I should be able to sell um, a few of the games like Metal Gear, um, Star Ocean, and all that. And I will be able to keep um, Cena Gears for free. Um, same with Vagrant Story. There's also a Breath of Fire 3 and 4 that I will get to keep. Those are right there so i'll get to keep those for free sell the rest um castlevania symphony of the night is also there but it's this only so i probably will sell that so altogether 240 like i said but i get to keep like maybe two to three hundred dollars worth of games for free later so this was a facebook deal paid 30 for everything whole bunch of ps2 games nothing super great pretty much common stuff uh, some GameCube games were X-Men and X-Men Legends 2, uh, PS2 Slim, Resident Evil Zero, and the best game out of the lot was Eternal Darkness. A couple of GameCube controllers too, and all together, 30 bucks. Not bad at all. So this was from the same gentleman that I bought the Pocahontas. He called me back. He said he had some more games. I paid. 100 bucks for everything um the best game out of there out of the n64 is um diddy kong racing the final fantasy is the misprint so that's cool um grand theft auto and then the, the reason why i really paid 100 bucks is for the genesis games which is i'm surprised because i really don't collect for genesis but that's um power rangers dune is like a 60 dollar game and the game that i wanted the most and i am going to keep is mega turrican it's maybe like an $80 game, so very happy to pick this up and add it to the collection. Later. At the flea, ended up paying $55 for everything. This GameCube case is empty. Final Fantasy VII has, it's actually the misprint, but one of the discs I believe is missing. Disney Party, Sonic Mega Collection, Pikmin, and the best thing out of the deal was the Sega Dreamcast. Sports edition is pretty dirty, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but you know, for 55 bucks, it's not bad. So this first deal was at the pawn shop. Paid 10 bucks for MLB baseball, complete. Why not? Um, and Batman, Batman, Arkham Origins, and that was 10 bucks altogether. Then the next deal was from Facebook. I picked up all these games for 25 bucks. Halo, Dragon Dogma. Assassin's Creed, Tales of Xperia, a couple of steel books that I always like. Um, I believe there's another one over here, Halo. It's also there, and the best two games were Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, goes for about 45 bucks. And then this one was brand new sealed. I don't think it came with a plastic, but if it did, the game inside is sealed. So, altogether, 25 bucks. This goes for about 40, so very happy to pick all of those up for 25 bucks. So at the flea, the first thing was from a vendor from Cory. 
picked up two games for 10 bucks AU, Pikachu, and Top Gun. I didn't have them, so I'll add them to the collection. The Pokemon sticker book and all the other stuff is for the baby, and that was five bucks for those. Um, Bedlam was five bucks at one vendor, and then the rest of the stuff, all the loose games that you see here, I paid 120 bucks, and this is the best stuff out of there. The secret game code is almost always cool. Game Boy Color with the Smurfs, an SP in decent shape. I can take the stickers off. A red Game Boy Pocket, our Marines in box complete. The Grinch complete in box is like 50 bucks. Um, the Game Boy printer, which I didn't have in box, very happy to pick this up and add it to the collection. Complete in box Game Boy printer, and then the best game and the best deal out of the lot was Dragon Warrior 1 and 2. Complete, um, like I said, 120 for everything. This pays for that easily and the rest is basically free. I will keep this, I will keep the printer, and most likely the Grinch, and sell the rest. So it's easily a really good day at this flea. It's been a while since I've been here and picked up anything. So then, you know, cool, cool deal. And now, the pickup of the week. So this was a Facebook deal. Cost a lot of money, 350 bucks. Um, I picked up this Alien vs Predator. It goes for about 150 bucks, at least complete. And then I picked up one of the things that I wanted for a very long time. And it's one of the, my top 10. I have a little list of my top 10 things that I want. And this is one of them. It is the Atari Jaguar completing box. It does have a couple of my blemishes, but I really don't care. It looks great to me. Um, excellent, excellent pickup for me. Wanted this for a very long time. It will look really cool in the game room. What I will do is I have a Jaguar that blew out. So I will sell that one, or I did sell that one for 179 maybe, 180 And then if I choose to sell this, I will get all my money back and keep the system in the box for free. Um, awesome, awesome deal in my, um, in my opinion. Excellent, excellent pickup. One of the things that I wanted the most. So very happy, very excited. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you all next week. later.